So this is extreme visual soil assessments, okay? If you are ever able to, to, to do this, take a look, actually have a look at what's going on with your structure, what's going on with the dynamics. I haven't looked at this soil at all, so it's pretty good for me. Now, the first time I even dig a hole, I actually want to look at actually what's happening above the ground. What's growing? What kind of weed pressures are we seeing? Um, is there insect damage on this? Are we seeing any fungal diseases? But just pick up some of those indicators. Is water moving into the soil when it does rain? Before I even dig a hole to have a look. Okay, so what's the first thing that we see when we're opening the soil up? What do you guys notice? It's dry. You can see some Rastafarian roots. All right. So you guys know about rhizobia. Yeah? I'll look after you nice. So your rhizobia, so the, the bacteria that sit inside the nodule of your legumes. All right, so they fix nitrogen. They have an enzyme that enables them to take nitrogen and go through a process to put it into a form that plants can deal with. Because how many kilograms of nitrogen above our heads right now? Seventy-eight thousand, yep. So seventy-eight thousand kilograms. It's good that you listen to me, Cam. Keep you on. So seventy-eight thousand kilograms of nitrogen above each hectare of soil. Why are we putting nitrogen on? We're not capturing it. Yeah. Okay. And we've got to look at why. So that process that happens inside the inside a nodule is that if you look at that crumb structure, see those aggregates that are stuck to the roots. You see that aggregation? Inside those aggregates are free living nitrogen fixes. All right, so these guys are inside those aggregates and they're fixing nitrogen. You can come to properties and not see this at all. Like your, the roots will not stick to any aggregates. Um, the soil is really dry, so it's a little bit tricky trying to see that, but that's what you want to see. Okay, so a little bit like that Rastafarian root, but inside are free living nitrogen fixes are the most common organism in healthy soils. Right, the free living guys. Right, if we're not seeing nitrogen fixation on the roots, can I get someone to dig up a legume for me and bring me the roots? I'm going to volunteer. Lots of nodulation. And what colours should those nodules be? Pink. pink. Okay, so if they're pink, well, it's full of something called leg hemoglobin, the same as the hemoglobin in your body. But we want to see a good pink colour. I'm not seeing anything. Okay, so you want to see a lot of nodules all the way through. I might give this to someone just to break apart and see if you can find some. So you want to see them pink. If they're white, what does that tell you about that, those nodules, that legume? Not active. Why would it not be active? I don't know. One of these legume people in here, why would they not be active? Oh yeah, so they might not have the, inoc the inoculants. So it'll still, it can, it can still nodulate, which is interesting because they form those nodules in relationship with the bacteria. So it can still nodulate, but the nodules will be white. Okay, so they won't be releasing nitrogen. No nitrogen. So I've got guys going, oh, look at all my clover and all the nitrogen I'm fixing. No, you're not. Okay, so you want to have a look. Are there nodules in here and are they pink? I'm not seeing. Stop these organisms fixing Nitrogen and they're two trace elements, all right? They need it for the enzyme to make the process. Does anyone know what they might be? Molly. Molly, yep. Boron. Boron. Not boron? No, they actually need it for, it's, it's, it's required for the enzyme. So we've got molybdenum. Copper. No, it's cobalt. All right, cobalt and molybdenum, without the access to those trace elements, you will not get nitrogen fixation in the nodules. You will not get it in the free living microorganisms either. So we'll see people with nitrogen deficiencies because they've got low trace elements. And this is where putting things on like seaweed might sound kind of weird. They're full of these bioactive trace elements. So we get a system that really starts to kick in.